Yes, I'll take that off. I wear my bonnet pretty much all the time when I'm not on camera or like not at work because, oh, I don't like it to that side. Um, <laughs> because I like my braids to stay looking pretty fresh for as long as they can. I try to wear them for like a month and a half. Who dat? Oh. So, it's a couple days post Thanksgiving. I'm just hanging around the house today, so this vlog might be pretty boring. But I'm getting ready to go eat some leftovers yesterday. Oh, there's my Thrive Market shirt in the back. Oh my gosh. I'm really a Thrive groupie, so yeah. Um, yesterday, I was so tired of Thanksgiving leftovers, which yesterday was Friday, that I had Chipotle for dinner. So, today I really have to get on those leftovers so that I don't waste anything. So, I'm going to have leftovers for lunch and dinner but um so lunch it'll probably be basic but for dinner i think i'm gonna make some pancakes and then have sweet potatoes with him and i feel like it's gonna be great <laughs> Ooh, maybe i could mash sweet potatoes into it and make like sweet potato pancakes i don't know we're not that far in the day yet i can't even remember what i did this morning so um i'm glad you guys are enjoying the vlogs i'm trying to do them more often i'm trying to do a vlog and then a what i ate in a day and then i need to throw in more body positive content i know i know i'm working on it in fashion content but honestly i've been kind of uninspired when it comes to fashion lately because i've been trying not to just buy things because they're new i've been trying to like buy things that i think are going to last throughout the years and that will stay staples in my wardrobe so it's been a little bit harder lately, but um, plus I'm moving and I don't want to buy th more things before I move. I want to like wait and not have to move a lot of stuff with me. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the vlogs. I know that like my life isn't always PC, but it is what it is and I have good heart and good intentions. And I knew that putting more of like my normal day-to-day -day life would open up some things but honestly for me it's more just showed me that people just like to be offended and that's fine but I've said that a million times I think people in 2017 want to be offended just in case so I'm like bye anyways um I'm getting ready to go eat lunch <laughs> every once in a while I like to take a break from my compostable ones and get um like a flavored one so I got the Starbucks toffee nut because toffee nut is my favorite syrup at Starbucks so we're gonna have this with our coffee this morning <laughs> question of the day if you have one of these little eco pods um, what do you grind your coffee on like you're holding coffee what do you grind it to so that it's still like super strong coffee so today I'm using the silk almond creamer um, I did finally find the silk soy creamer but um, it's way down at the co-op so I haven't gone to get it yet but I'm having this today this is the caramel caramel are you caramel or caramel team caramel or team caramel so I'm having that with my toffee nut and I feel like it's gonna be delicious. Does it match? At the second, I'm just, I don't know why I always wait until I'm like <laughs> talking to drink. Submitting logo revisions. Hmm, fun stuff, right? No, and I also, Need to take a picture in that shirt for a little thing I'm doing with Thrive. So I need to work on that, but I need to like beat this mug before I do any of that. And back in my bonnet. I'm getting ready to do the Sunday Riley face mask. This is the Saturn mask because I have like a couple of period breakouts. My period just ended yesterday. So I just need to like get my skin back to normal Ugh. this smells so bad it smells like rotten eggs and it's because it has sulfur in it so it smells terrible but i have a pimple down here so i gotta get on that double chin girls and guys all of y'all um i can't do this in the morning because you know i'm like sensitive <laughs> and i'll throw up from smelling it but You gotta put it on my nose and stuff because this makes your pores like 
non-existent. It's ridiculous. I don't put a lot on my forehead because I don't really have breakouts on my forehead. But I do get breakouts on my eyelids, which is so annoying. Like, who gets eyelid breakouts? Me, clearly. I had really bad acne for a long time. You guys know this. We're not going to talk about this story again. <laughs> it's been done. But, like, if you look at one of my first Get Ready With Me's, um, one, I was so skinny. I was, like, 70 pounds lighter. It's funny, like, I've lost weight on this channel. And I know a lot of people do weight loss videos. But even though I lost a ton of weight and I made videos the whole time, I never talked about weight loss. I just did my normal videos. Because weight loss has never been, like, a big deal to me. It's just something that happens. Like, some people lose weight, some people don't. It's just, like... I don't talk about going pee every day because I go pee. It's just like a part of life. Um, so I never talked about it, which is so weird because I think most people are so proud when they're losing weight. They want to tell everyone. They want to like shout it from the rooftops and like give all these tips. But I've just never been that kind of person. It was just like something I was doing. Um, I think the only time I even mentioned it was when I bought new clothes for vacation because I was like, I can't fit any of my clothes anymore. But I never really talked about weight loss or what I was doing to lose weight or any of those things. Um, but I guess the reason I'm talking about this is, yeah, I had bad skin. But when I was losing weight, my skin was the absolute worst. And I don't know why that is. Like, I was losing, like, my skin had never been as bad as when I was losing weight. Like, breakouts everywhere and like different kinds like blackheads like the pussy ones the under the skin ones it was just like not so much cystic acne maybe a little bit around my chin but not like big boils but definitely like the worst my skin's ever been um and I noticed that to this day when I kick up my workouts my skin starts to break out so much more does anyone know the link between acne and like working out because when I'm doing my normal, like, three a day, I mean, three a week, four a week, even five a week, but, like, when I'm working out, like, two or three hours a day, like, if I'm training with my friends for, like, new dances that are coming out or whatever, my skin gets so nasty. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to research this. <laughs> but, oh, it's burning. That means it's working. Anytime I get a mask and it's burning, I'm like, oh, yeah. That's the stuff. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Ooh, tomorrow, I really want to go to Cheesecake Factory because Cheesecake Factory has a lot of vegan options. And I do like their skinny, licious veggie burger. But my favorite thing there is their avocado toast. Oh my gosh. It's like the thickest toast ever. And they put avocado and they put this lemon olive oil and like radishes. Oh, it's so good. And oh my gosh, I think I'm having allergies because... I can hear water in my ear. If you follow me on Snapchat, I know I say that like 10 times a day. Last week I thought a bug crawled in my ear and I was like sticking a thing in there and then my director told me I should put baby oil but it had already been like a week. So either the sound in my ear is water in my ear from allergies or um, the bug is laying babies. I'm not sure but <laughs> I'm gonna go to the doctor. A lot of people for some reason think like I don't go to the doctor because I didn't go when my wisdom teeth were hurting. And the reason I didn't go when my wisdom teeth were hurting was because it was a weekend. Um, <laughs> and I'm not gonna spend money to go to an emergency dentist when I know it's just like standard wisdom tooth pain. Um, I go to the dentist every six months, don't worry. Look at these pearly whites. Um, and I have room in my mouth for my wisdom teeth. They suggest I get them removed, but it's not like urgent at this time. Um, my dentist is always just like at some point, maybe get them removed look at my shirt i always have like my clothes half on <laughs> um so that's why i didn't go because it was a weekend and um my dentist isn't open on the weekend and i want to go to my dentist i don't want to go to an emergency dentist that doesn't have my charts and all that stuff so but by the time monday rolled around it was fine it just lasted like two or three days it happens like once a year I get wisdom tooth pain and I don't know if it's because they're growing or what I don't know I'm not a dentist but all's good now I actually have when is it when is it I have a cleaning coming up and I have like two or three cavities that they want to look at um there are service level cavities they're not real cavities so I used to have my tongue pierced so I have 
quite a few chips in my teeth which are considered surface level cavities from the chip um, and then they look at them every year to see if they're getting any worse if they're getting worse then they put a bonding over them if they're not getting worse then they don't um, I don't want to put a bonding on them if they're not getting worse because I did that for a few of my teeth that were chipped and it gives me the worst sensory problems ever um, I constantly feel it, <laughs> this is going to sound so <laughs> stupid, I just feel like it's not a part of me, <laughs> I'm like this isn't my body and it just feels so weird and I'm, con I'm not constantly fixated on it but if I'm really busy I notice because I already kind of like mess around with my mouth a lot, um, I pick at it like this constantly because I know it's not supposed to be there and it feels like it's not supposed to be there. So I do have to go in for that pretty soon. Um, but yeah, that's all. But yeah, I'm going to make sure that the bug's not laying babies in my brain soon. Yeah. Oh, quick segue. If you want to hear my drama, my beef with my doctor, <laughs> listen to the podcast. Um, I'm recording a new one today, but the last one is called And My Punishment is a Baby. And it's about my ongoing feud with my doctor and birth control. So link down below <laughs> so here are all of my face mask so love i think i like this one don't really love this one love this one don't like love like smells like medicine basically I was like vacuuming around the sock that's on the floor. <sighs> that's the point of having feet to pick up extra things. Again, with the bonnet, seriously. Um, so, that bonnet, have you seen the Bonnet Chronicles on Instagram? Tammy Roman reminds me so much of my mother. It's ridiculous, but I'm hungry, so I think I'm going to try to make sweet potato pancakes. We'll see how this works out. So I have leftover sweet potatoes. I think I'm going to try to take off the marshmallows and then just mash the sweet potatoes that are underneath. And then I have this Birch Benders pancake mix and like mash it in kind of like I did for the pumpkin pancakes. All right, so I got my mashed sweet potatoes in there. I just used a little immersion blender to make them super smooth. So it looks pretty good. Hopefully it's fine. The only reason I'm worried is because it's like a just add water type of mix. It's not like the kind that I typically make. So let's get these guys on a little skillet. These are three leftover field roast sausages that I had. Holy shit, I feel like I need some greens today. Oh, turn that off. 
So I melted the marshmallows that were on top and made them into like syrup and then we'll add just a bit of table syrup. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to say that you're very welcome for the best Thanksgiving leftover idea ever. And maybe best idea ever. I bet those are gonna be delicious. I'm gonna taste them. I love these sausages, by the way. They're the, I'm um, sorry, bad lighting. I'm the worst YouTuber. I quit. Um, I'm so smacky today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, hold on, let me switch grips. So, those are the field roast little breakfast sausages, and I really like them. All right, so let's get a bite of these pancakes. So we can see if they just look good or if they taste good too. I've got some marshmallow, which the marshmallow dries really quickly, as you can see. That. Somebody open a vegan restaurant and add that to your brunch menu. But you have to call them the Eden Jacks. The Eden Flapjacks. That's what you have to call them. Eden sweet potato flapjacks. That's what you have to call them after you open your restaurant. You just have to give me credit on your menu. But that's the best thing ever. I had to come back and tell you guys that one, I want to go to the mall right now and see if Torrid has any good sales. But two, these get better with every bite. Mmm. Fun fact, I hated pancakes until, I don't know, I guess just a couple of years ago. Cause they were too fluffy. I always like waffles. I didn't like pancakes, but. Mmm. So good. I'm the happiest person ever. I've been on the hunt for some sweaters and I found this one by Ashley Nell Tempton. And it's a three, but it's super huge. <laughs> like it's like a dress basically. And it comes down the back too. And these are the Boutique Plus leggings. And it has a cute like ladder detail in the back. I'll see if I can show you. So that's what it looks like. I like it, it's super cozy, super warm, super cheap too. This is a black floral maxi which surprisingly doesn't touch the ground which is unheard of for my very short body um but it's super cute i just can't decide if it's supposed to be like under the bust and it's for a tall person or if it's supposed to be drop waist and then in that like scenario it kind of puckers right here which i like the pattern i just don't like how restrictive like the chiffon is but I like the bottom it's super cute the last thing is this blazer I just have on my bikini bottoms right now because sometimes I run out of underwear and I have to wear bikini bottoms but don't worry I ordered more underwear on Black Friday so <laughs> I like this blazer it has a really you know just like an average sleeve but then they added a ruffle which is really cute and I like the flutter front I just <sighs> I can't keep white clean ever but I do really like this I think it would be really cute with some of my dresses but <sighs> I'm not gonna put my dry cleaner through that because I'm a curing person back in my actual outfit now which I sat this down for like two and a half seconds and it got so wrinkled it's annoying but this is what I'm wearing and I just have on some <laughs> faux leather flats at the moment this dressing room is so destroyed i'm going to take my stuff out to the rack but i want to show you the rack first and like the floor of all of the other rooms so this is the rack where do you suggest i put my things look at this fitting room So, <laughs> I'm laying on the floor right now because I vacuumed it, um, <laughs> and 
So you guys saw I went to JCPenney. They didn't really have anything. I was looking for this white vegan leather jacket from... Sorry. My nose feels all weird because I just put nasal spray in there. It sounds like my passages are closed. Um, from Ashley Nell Tepton. Ashley Nell Tepton. <laughs> Tipton? Tipton. I know a lot of people with the last name Tipton, actually. But um, they didn't have it, unfortunately. But I thought I would come on and tell you guys about the time where I was psychic. Well... The two times I was psychic. And they're both really unfortunate times to be psychic. And I only thought about it because I was just talking to my grandma. And she was talking about when she was in her car accident. And I was like, yeah, I predicted that. And I'm like, kind of like Miss Cleo, but like Miss Eo. Call me now, you know? So I had this dream that I was driving and that I was in a car accident and that I got hit two times. Once from like the back and then I spun and then I got hit again on the side. And in my dream, I saw the street sign of where I got hit. Um, and I woke up and I was like, oh, that was a really weird dream. And then they told me that my grandma was in a car accident. It was the next morning when my mom told me that my grandma had been in a car accident, she got hit twice, but she was okay, and they told me where she got hit, and it was one exit away from the sign that I saw in my dream. So, maybe coincidental, I don't know, maybe not, but I felt like I was psychic. And then, this this is why I'm the worst psychic ever. Miss Eo, don't ever let her predict your future, because I'm terrible. <laughs> So the next one was my cousin's um, girlfriend. We were going to her baby shower in my dream. So in the dream, everyone's like playing games at the shower and everything. And I go and I rub her belly. And in my head, I say, nothing's in there. Um, I didn't say it out loud. I just said it in my head, nothing's in there. And then two days later, my mom told me, why is my mom always telling me? Maybe my mom's the psychic, I don't know. But two days later, um, I found out that she had a miscarriage. Two days after I had dreamed that I said there was nothing in there when I touched her belly. And those are the two times that I've had dreams of things happening and then they happened within like a day or two. And my family knows about it, and they're like, don't you ever dream about me because you dreamed up some, you dream of some messed up stuff. And it's kind of true. But those are the only two times I've been psychic. So in the comments below, I want you to tell me of a time where you predicted something or you dreamed something and it came true. Um, and are yours more positive than mine? Why are mine always like sad and depressing or like someone getting hurt? It's just so terrible. Those are the only two times I can really remember. So for a while I thought I was psychic and I was really scared to dream anything. And anytime I dreamt something I was like, please don't come true, please don't come true, please don't come true. But I did do a little bit of Black Friday shopping. I did, I got a bunch of underwear from Torrid because it's the only place that I like underwear from. And I don't really like their regular underwear. I feel like they slide down too easily. But their thongs are really good. So I ordered eight pairs. And then I ordered Key Australia sunglasses. And I ordered an extra pair for you guys. So. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Um, it'll be in the vlogs, the Eden Daily vlogs. I don't know when it's going to be. It'll be sometime between now and Christmas. So just make sure you're watching. It won't be announced. It'll just be inside of the video. Surprise giveaway. I want to be doing a few more giveaways between now and the holidays. Just to thank you guys for all of your love and support. Because y'all the best. And I wish I could do something for everyone. But obviously I can't because you know house and home got to pay for that but um when I can pick up little things and ship little things out I will it'll be open internationally of course um I've done a lot of giveaways in the past I just haven't recently because I'm just so incredibly busy at work and all of that good stuff 
but tomorrow's going to be a fun-filled day. I'm filming what I eat in a day, and I'm doing a fun Instagram post with Thrive Market, and I'm really excited about it because, damn, they're like the best company. I know I talk about them all the time, but they're like one of my favorite employers. <laughs> Um, they're just so supportive and so amazing. So I really do like them. And um, I don't think I have any more sponsored videos. Because you guys know I like to give you guys heads up of what's happening. Not that you guys give a shit. You kind of let me do whatever. But um, yeah, that's about it. <sighs> I found a new voice, voice coach. So I start going to her soon. I'm really excited about that because my voice has been like feeling a little bit weird since I stopped going to my old um, person. But this is all really boring and my voice is like so monotone and whatever. I figured out how to get the second microphone from for the podcast to work. So um, I'll be having some more guests on the podcast. It was supposed to go up today, but it's gonna go up tomorrow, but it'll be up by the time you guys are watching this. It's really weird living in the future, guys. <laughs> so like this will be up on Thursday, but I'm filming it on Saturday and the podcast will be up on Sunday, but it would have been up by the time you guys watch this. So <sighs> it's really hard living in the future. I'm poking my vein. I used to be a phlebotomy technician. Fun fact, I was clinical medical assistant, phlebotomy technician, and EKG technician, or ECG, depending. Um, so yeah, I like, I'll do this to people sometimes, poke on their veins, um, because I'm a really great phlebotomist, and I'm the best at taking blood, and I never miss, even on elderly, when their veins roll. So, I'm just, you know poking on my little vein here <laughs> because I like the feeling of it. You just get used to doing that when you take so much blood, you know, over points of your life. But anyways, I'm not even in that industry at all anymore. I'm like total, total, total opposite type of job that I do now. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And until next time, I hope this vlog wasn't terribly boring. Was it terribly boring? It was terribly boring. I'm so sorry. Um, some days are boring. <laughs> some days you don't leave the house except for to go to JCPenney and it's totally trash and you're like feel terrible for the employees. But if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion. But don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly and I hope you love yourselves even more. We'll chat really, really soon. Bye.